You can sort of feel people's moods change yesterday when May arrived yes. with a gorgeous day. Right. This morning, a lot more of the same. We, you know, had a little cl few clouds, maybe some showers, but nice day. It, it did change. I thought people were just being nice to me yesterday. But no. it's, it was. Uh, no. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Where, whatever the reason. In the middle of the winter, they're like, yeah, I'm not going to say what they said to me in the middle of the winter, but this was a transition day, and we had a lot of pollen blooming too. Did you feel that mm -hmm. aspect of it, like? That's not a bad thing, but it just it exploded. And we're going to talk a little bit about how it looks through the middle of the week as well. Now, today started off beautiful. Most of the day was really nice, but clouds started to roll in from southwest to northeast the last couple of hours. And the really slow moving edge, the clouds have now moved into the mid coast. Behind it, some showers. Now, the first batch of these showers didn't hit the ground. And uh, I just did this in the, the old school way. We looked at the radar, there was showers, but outside there were no showers hitting the ground. So initially this isn't saturating, but you look back to the west, it's a lot more moisture where that came from. So eventually these showers will all be hitting the ground and they'll be generally light in nature, uh, but they will move into southern and western Maine. And it looks like that's where they really concentrate the showers tonight. Much lesser chance of showers, especially as you get to Bangor and points north there, you might end up just partly cloudy tonight and temperatures drop down into the 30s. But over southern coastal Maine, it's showery. There's some drizzle. There's a lot of clouds and that's how we start tomorrow morning as well. But eventually we all start to even out into some sun. But because it's sunny from the start, Bangor points north, I think it'll be a bit of a split state forecast will be significantly warmer, and just kind of nicer here as opposed to southern Maine that will be finding the clouds a little bit more and the coastline especially will be cooler. So here's your split state forecast temperature wise. You can see 60 to 65 here, 50s here. And look, you know how this goes. This is representing the wind. And when you get an onshore flow, you're just going to have a hard time along the coastline. The ocean temperature is quite chilly, so it's hard to get all that warm. We'll be in the low 50s for the most part along the coast. Overall, though, things looking up uh, after our, our rainstorm comes in on Wednesday. Thursday looks good. Friday looks good. And then high pressure should be able to hold on for the weekend and maybe into next week. As long as that high is in the right spot on the models, we are in good shape. So we have one bad day here, guys, and that's Wednesday. It will be rainy and raw, temperatures 40s, maybe even some upper 30s. Quick recovery, though, on Thursday, upper 60s, probably the best day of the week. Friday looks good, and again, I'm optimistic about the weekend. I do think it's a little coolish Saturday, but probably nice for Mother's Day and then warmer on Monday. If that high holds where it is, again, I think next week will be a story of inland 67, coastline <laughs> 55. Oh, that's you know, Maine, right yeah. Which is kind of how it goes. So, uh, but still, much better pattern, obviously, than last week. Yes. Thank you, Keith. We're back after this.